y'all ain't never seen this big, beautiful woman this poor, huh? These titties is mine. I grew these myself. They don't leak or nothing. Man, I've been watching the news, I get depressed about shit, because the media is full of shit. They make us look stupid, they must think we're crazy. The media full of shit. Like the time they was talking about Jeffrey Dahmer, saying that man was crazy because he ate them people. Now I've been eaten by plenty of men, I ain't called nobody crazy. I called them back, but I didn't call them crazy. Called some of them good, but I didn't call them crazy. But I give Jeffrey credit, he must have had a thing for dark meat. I guess white meat was a little bit too dry. And my boy Mike Tyson, the poor nigga, he didn't go to jail. Made an example out of his ass. And I don't know why he felt he had to rape that girl, cause he had $60 million. $60 million, you ain't got to rape no pussy. Pussy is coming out the heavens for your ass. Pussy juice being sprinkled in your face every morning. Grandmama showing you her pussy. Baby, you want some of this? Cause be honest, homeboy, for a million dollars, you'll fuck Mike Tyson, wouldn't you, daddy? Thank you for telling the truth. Thank you. Me, no, I wouldn't fuck him. Hell yeah, I fucked the Pope in the Klansman role for a million dollars. Make him come for three. Shit. I know about fucking. I got four children. All by the same man, unfortunately. Ain't like I wasn't trying. I love my children. I had them. They mine. But it's getting close to summertime. That's the worst time of the year for a parent because you got to deal with their little ass all day long. And wherever you go, they go. And you have to have that little speech with them in the car. You know the one where you grit your teeth like patent so they'll believe you? When we get in the grocery store, you don't want shit, you don't need shit, don't look at shit, don't touch shit, you ain't getting shit. You don't have to pee. If you do, hold it till you bust. Don't make me drop kick your ass in the store. And do you remember when you were little, your mom and dad get ready to go out somewhere, you'd run out the door behind them yelling, bring me something back, bring me something back. And they bring you back a stick of gum, you're the happiest little piece of shit in the world. I'm scared to bring my kids home a stick of gum. Bitch, what is this? Bring me something bad. You better get your black ass out there and give me a Nintendo. And last summer, I was blessed to spend time with my classmate, somebody I grew up with. And the one thing I remember about her is that she hit her mother. I have never hit my mama, cause that bitch is crazy. My mama so bad, I dreamed I hit her and the bitch killed me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and having her children be with my children, one thing I realized is that white folks rear their children differently from black folks. That's why they kill them and they sleep and shit at night. They ain't scared of them. <laughs> and I send my twins hellfire and damnation. <laughs> when you have your children, you name what the fuck you want to name them, okay? <laughs> I send them to parochial school and the majority of their friends happen to be white and I don't have no problem with that because I don't hate white folks. Some of my best friends hate them. But anyway. <laughs> And the other day, Hellfire came up to me and said some of the most ridiculous shit I ever heard in my life. The other day, she walks up to me and goes, like, Mom, like the other day in school, they told us if you hit us with a belt or a switch or an extension cord and, like, leave marks on our bodies, that we can call an 800 number and the police will come and take you to jail. I said, bitch, you gotta make it to the phone. you fucking with? And my children fight so much. Do your children fight? It's like nature's way of saying you should have given head, isn't it? Sometimes on a bad day, I just look at mine and go, I could have swallowed you. (laughs) 
You guys have been fun. Thanks.